topic lines and angles line a line is a set of points that has only one dimension that is length two points are needed to define a line a line has no end point points on the same line are called collinear points line segment a line segment is a part of a line which has two distinct end points we can also say that it is a link between two points angle two rays joined with a common end point form an angle the common end point is called a vertex complementary angles when the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree the angles are called complementary angles supplementary angles when the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 the angles are called supplementary angles adjacent angles adjacent angles have a common vertex and a common arm but no common interior points examples are as shown below linear pair a linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non common sides are opposite rays vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect the vertically opposite angles so formed are equal intersecting lines when two lines meet at a point they are called intersecting lines the common point is called point of intersection example the letter y made up of line segments this is an example of intersecting lines angles made by a transversal A line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal. Angles made by transversal of parallel lines. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal 1 Each pair of alternate interior angles are equal 2 Each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure 3 Each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary Note These three condition can be used for checking of parallel lines. Angle made by transversal of parallel lines. Alternate angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Interior angles add up to 180. C plus D equals 180. angles are equal